All right, so we are here in Slateport City because, oh, let me just fix my bottom screen. There we go. I have done some grinding and I have looked up the documentation. Something I should have done a long time ago. And uh, one of these people, no, you're a TM dude, aren't you? Yeah. Um, yeah, nothing there that interests me. Is it you? No, you just talk about seaweed, okay. I mean, I know it's Japan and all, but... Is it you? No, is it you? Evolution Guru, here we go. So this guy sells a King's Rock. I already have one, but I'm pretty sure I tried to use a King's Rock before and it didn't work. Right? Let's see. Um, we got... Oh, of course, it's going to be buried somewhere in here, isn't it? Hold on a second. How many nuggets do we have? We got seven nuggets! Hell yeah! Um, King's Rock, King's Rock, King's Rock. There we go. So if I use it on... Yeah, see? Um, what if I give you the King's Rock? I checked the documentation and it said you can get a King's Rock here and I can get the Electivisor um, somewhere else. Okay, you 8,000 XP. I'm probably not. I wanted to evolve him before the gym. But I don't think I can get 8,000 XP fast. Uh, no, we, well, let's go get the Electivisor for Daryl. Oh, wait! Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Where is... I got a rare candy. Let's do it. Albus, here you go. 68. Didn't evolve. What the fuck? Albus, you're supposed to evolve with a King's Rock. Right? Hold on a second. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I'm an idiot. I'm a big old idiot. Because, um... Slow Bro doesn't evolve into Slow King. Slow Poke evolves into Slow King. Slow Poke either evolves into Slow Bro or Slow King. Not slow bro into slow king. So I'm a big, big stupid. I'm really, really dumb. I'll admit that. Uh, <laughs> why am I so stupid? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, you wouldn't think that a slowpoke would have a split evolution, you know? Uh, let's just do the items real quick. Um, we're going to give a... We'll give one of the king's rocks to... Um, we'll give one to Daryl. I want to give, uh... Hang on, let me sort, let me sort my bag. I thought that I had, um... Something for electric moves, but I guess I don't. Um... That's only for Pikachu, so that's not going to help. And then I got the... I may not have anything for... Uh, for them to use. Also, what happened to my... Leftovers, there we go. Alright, we'll give the... So we'll give the leftovers to... Problems. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll give the quick claw, click, quick claw to Problems. And we're going to give the leftovers to Zed. There we go. Yeah, I, I just completely... Why why would why would you remember that Slowpoke has a split evolution? I mean, I know Poliwhirl has a split evolution into Poliwrath or Politoads. That I can remember, but I don't remember Slowpoke having a split evolution. You would think that Slow Bro into Slow King makes sense, but... No, apparently not. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll admit that I'm dumb for not remembering. Or not knowing in the first place, but... I mean, come on. you got to give me a bit of slack. Uh, let's see. So I think it's floor two. 
So it should be this floor, the trainer zone. Yes, I am looking for... There we go. An electorizer. Electorizer. Okay. Um... Ooh, one of these two might be good. But, uh... No, we're going to take the Razor Claw. And we're going to give that to, um... To Zed, to Rotom. Because I feel like... I feel like giving a chance to help the critical hit is probably better. Because Zed is really, really, really quick, is the thing. And so if he can, um... If he can get critical hits and kill Pokemon, it's going to be better than him just taking damage and recovering. But uh, let's evolve Daryl here. Look how cool Daryl looks. I love um, Electro. Uh, I love um, Electivire. Yeah. See, I got I got confused because of the item name. The item name confused me because I thought it was that. Uh, are you the TM people? You are. Ah. Uh... No, I don't really see anything that's going to, like, be of help for the gym. No. Okay. Well. Let's go back. Not the evolution. No, wait. The, the trainer zone should have the potions and stuff, right? No, but you've got more TMs. Whatever. If I had like a million trillion do pokey dollars, I would just buy every single TM. But uh, I think it's better than I save money. Uh, I don't know why I went into my bag there. You should have the potions and stuff, right? Nope. You should have the potions and stuff, right? So let's go ahead and sell... Um, a eight big nuggets. For 80,000, hell yeah. And we'll sell seven nuggets for 35,000. And uh, I guess two big pearls, sure. I need money for uh, more potions and stuff. So, full restores. Let's buy, let's buy another 10 full restores. And we're going to buy, say, like, 13 Hyper Potions to get back up to 30 for them. 30 of them. 30 of them. That'll do, right. It is now time to go and face Wallace. Also, I don't know why the Lily Cove music plays on the bottom floor. That's kind of weird. I mean, surely it should play... The department store music. But whatever, whatever. Uh, it's this way. Yep, that way. So I've done all the grinding. We've got um, problems, Zed and Daryl, all the way up to mid or mid to high 60s. Um. Should I have a, let's do a quick rundown of the, the team. So we've got... You can see problems... Where's the moves? Oh, it's on the bottom screen. Problems... I taught cut to problems because I figure it'll probably help than having sleep powder. Sleep powder is only 85 accuracy, so... It's not really worth having. But uh, he's got cut and he's also got power whip here. Problems is a physical attacker, so I've given him all physical moves, essentially. Uh, Seed Bomb is going to be the main move to use for him. Power Whip is kind of in a pinch. 
He's not very fast, so he's probably going to make a hit first. Uh, Zed here has got Electro Ball and Thunderbolt. Again, Zed, special attacker. So these two are pretty good. He's got Substitute, which I may end up using. I'm not sure. Daryl's got Thunderbolt, Brick Break, Thunder Punch, and Wild Charge. Uh, I mean, he's a physical attacker, but he's got lowered physical attack because of his nature. Which is annoying, but... Um, you know, he's got Thunderbolt, which is his strongest move, along with Wild Charge, but Wild Charge hurts him, so I have to be careful there. Rose, who we're going to lead with, let's go for some spikes and some cuts and flash cannons, which would be nice. Albus here, still the same. My caps, still the same. And problems, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get Rose out in front. Trusty, trusty Rose, hopefully. Alright, so I shouldn't have to do these again. Perfect. See, I I didn't come and battle all the trainers in here, because I thought, what's what's the point if... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much ready for the gym. You know, 68, 67, two 66s, 68 and a 69. Uh, I don't know what his ace is going to be, because his ace will mega evolve. We know that because of all the past battles. And in the uh, original game, his ace was a Milotic. A Milotic doesn't Mega Evolve, so... <sighs> no idea what this guy's going to throw at me. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Wallace, the gym leader of Sutopolis Gym. There's something about you, a difference in your demeanor. I think I sense that in you. What happened inside the Cave of Origin, and what you did there, our upcoming battle will make that all clear. Now, show me, show me the power of the you wield of your Pokemon. And <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and I, in turn, will present you with a performance of Illusions in Water. Whoa, dude, why did you show me your ass there? <laughs> why did he show his ass? <laughs> Right, leading with a Politoads. That's, I, Rose should be safe. I don't imagine it's got anything that's going to really harm Rose. It's got Drizzle. See, that really makes me wish I'd taught my Pokemon Thunder. I didn't bother teaching them Thunder, because I figured that I wasn't going to set up Rain Dancers to get 100% accuracy on Thunders. And I didn't think that he would either, because the whole point of a water gym is you don't want to get hit by electric moves. So why would... Why would he have Rain Dance, or in this case Drizzle, to make it so he gets hit by really high-powered electric moves? Man, Rose, you dodged two Hypnosis's there. That was really, really good of you, Rose. But we're going to, um... Uh, where? There's the awakening. May as well wake Rose up. There's no point just sitting there and taking hits. 100% accuracy Hydro Pump on the AI, as usual. <gasps> that was a lot of damage to Rose. Oh. Alright, let's, um, type potion you. See, I could go for a cut. Sure, I could go for a cut, but yeah, if if he if he didn't one shot the <sighs> damn it, gotta um yeah, if Rose doesn't one shot it with a cut, then Rose would have died. And uh, apparently his hydro pumps never miss, so and he's asleep again. <sighs> Me, I think we switch out Rose. Let's. Let's go for Daryl. Daryl can probably take a Hydro Pump better. No, he can't. Are you kidding me, Daryl? What the fuck? Alright, heal you up, Daryl. Daryl, okay, good job. Alright, and the rain stops. Right. Uh, Thunderbolt this thing to death. 
Come on, one hit. Nope. 100% accuracy hydro pumps, of course. 100% accuracy hydro pumps. That's exactly half your health, but you are faster. So that right there was a safe move. I knew that he was faster. Starmie. Um, let's go with Zed. Because Starmie is water psychic. Yeah, water psychic and Zed is electric ghost. So Zed is like double super effective against it. Perfect typing against this Starmie. And we will go for a Thunderbolt. 100% accuracy hydro pumps. 100% accuracy hydro pumps. Lionel, take your 100% accuracy hydro pumps. That was a cr that was a critical hit. Giving him the Razor Fang was definitely worth it. Ludicolo. Ludicolo is water grass. Um, we're gonna go with problems. The problem is all his Pokemon are going to have Hydro Pump. And for some reason he just doesn't miss Hydro Pumps. So it's not worth me leaving them out. We'll go for a Seed Bomb here. Alright. Um, I love Ludicolo. I think I said before, Ludicolo is awesome. I absolutely love Ludicolo. Ice Beam! Oh, you got to take those problems. Oh, that was a good, 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 good job. But Seed Bomb finished it off. Well done. Well done. Kingdra. Um, let's go for my caps. If I take a turn to heal problems or Daryl or or Zed or anybody, they could probably get off a Hydro Pump, so it's not going to be worth it. I would rather get my Caps out. My Caps is really, really fast. Not fast enough, apparently. But my Caps can take an Ice Beam. Look at that. My Caps is amazing. That wasn't super effective. Why was that not super effective? Kingdra's had its type changed, I think, in this. Um, Milotic, alright, here, we're going to keep my caps out and heal. Man, he doesn't even have a shiny Milotic. What a casual. Uh, we have to use the full restore on my caps. To get him to 100%, but that's fine. We know my caps can take ice beams, so... Doesn't matter, my caps can take at least two ice beams. Oh, that was a lot. That was a crit. He's got leftovers on Milotic, okay. Um, I think my I think my caps can take another ice beam. I hope. Okay, use protect. I should have healed. Damn it. Um let's heal. Let no, not Pokeballs. Let me steal your Milotic, dudes. No, we're gonna we're gonna heal my caps. It was that's probably a, a sign that my caps would have died there. No, he would have survived it. He would have survived another ice beam, but uh, it's better to play it safe. Better to play it safe. This was his. It. Use protect again. This was his ace in the original game, so I don't know what his next Pokemon is going to be. He's managed to recover all of his health and replace the damage from the spikes, which is annoying. But um, one shot, you're still one shot. Good job, good job, my caps. Good job. Swampert. Okay. My cap is going to stay out because my cap grass moves are quite effective against Swampert. Swampert is a water ground type Pokemon. So it's going to Mega Evolve. And if my caps can take a hit from Swampert, my caps will one shot it. 
I believe in you, my caps. Come on. This is the second time I've seen him make a swampert now. My caps is faster. Oh, my caps. Come on. Is that the second, second Mega Swampert my caps has one shot? I'm pretty sure he one shot Brendan Swampert, didn't he? I realize your authenticity and magnificent magnificence as a Pokemon trainer. I find much joy in having met you and your Pokemon. You have proven yourself worthy of the Rain Badge. Accept it. Having this badge, yeah, okay. It's a really pretty looking badge. And so you never forget the battle we shared here. Oh, waterfall. All right, cheers, I guess. Yeah, okay, I know what waterfall is. I don't need it though, because I can just, you know, fly on the back of my legendary Pokemon. The rumors that reach me in the wind said that Professor Birch and Lotteroot has created a more powerful Pokedex. Visit him and obtain this new technology. Oh, okay. Sure, I'll go I'll go get a new Pokedex. Is he gonna give me the national decks now? I mean I kinda hope he gives me the national decks, that'd be cool. Also, something I completely forgot to do is, um, no, I don't want to count more birds. We've got to go to, um, there it is, Route 117. I've been on this route many, many times while uh, grinding my Pokemon. But there's one thing that I forgot to check. Good to see you, your Mikachu and- Oh my god, Michikami is still in here too! Oh my god! Oh, so you've come back, you might spirit Pokemon, you know. Are you here to take one back? Mijikami is all 47. 48, Mikachu's 47. Oh my god! Mijikami's gone up by 23 levels. Oh my god, I don't even remember who Mijikami is! Who's Mijikami? Michikami, I don't remember. I'm not gonna go check my list now. Man, they've gone up 20 levels. I knew Mikichu was in there, but I I didn't know Michikami was in there too. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go back towards Little Root Town. Here we go. And pick up this better Pokedex, actually. I think it's the National Dex. I might be wrong. But I think this is where you get, um, oh, hey, mom. Oh, did dad give you that badge? Here's something from your mom. Oh, okay, she gave me the amulet coin. I forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, heal my Pokemon. I forgot you get the amulet coin after you get the fifth badge. Whoops. That would have been really nice to have, honestly, because, uh... <gasps> oh, look at the Lapras doll! Oh, that's cute. Can't I decorate my room? Or is that only in the original? Can I just get in bed? No. Can I check in the trash? Nothing there. Damn it. There's my there's my Wii U that goes unused. I remember a while ago I wanted to buy a Wii. Or no, a Wii U. Just to homebrew it and stuff. Ah. Oh. Hello. Welcome back, Miki. You must be tired after your recent exploits. Brennan's been keeping me up to date about all your grand adventures across Hoenn. After hearing all you've been up to, there's something I definitely want to share with you. The fact of the matter is that you've resolved the kerfuffle of the, <laughs> the kerfuffle. That's right. Everyone almost died and the world was destroyed, but it was just a little kerfuffle. A number of Pokemon never seen in Hoenn have begun to appear all over. Those Pokemon are precisely the subject of my long, many long years of research. They are Pokemon that are thought to have resided in Hoenn thousands of years ago. 
We'll finally be able to meet Pokemon never seen before. Okay. The National Pokedex has been added to Miki's Pokedex. There we go. Yeah, yeah, okay, yep, uh huh, yep, okay, thanks. Thank yeah, I just wanna I just wanna leave. I just wanna leave. Thank you. So let's check the Pokedex actually real quick. Um oh no. Well no actually no, let's look at the Hoenn Pokedex. So you can see there's a lot of Pokemon I've seen, and then a lot of Pokemon Oh look, there's a gap here. Where Blaziken would be. Yeah, I've seen 174, 176, and there's only 207, so that's what, 31 more Pokemon I've got to find? I mean, those are the Reggies there. Oh, wait, no, there's more, isn't there? Because there's, um, uh, three more, because it's, um, Jirachi, Rayquaza, and Deoxys. Okay, but uh, the National Dex, 114 Pokemon, wow! Wait, what? Oh, okay, it sorted it to Kanto. I was like, why did that change all of a sudden? Those are all the Kanto Pokemon we've got. There's a, there's a lot. I mean, I don't, I don't even remember. Oh, I remember having Geodude and Golem, that's right. I remember Ponyta who died. There's Slowbro. Wow, it's really cool to see the Pokedex. If I was a, if I was a completionist, I'd be like, man, I'm gonna try and catch every single Pokemon in this room hack because you can do that in this, which is really cool. But uh, that's a Pidgey. What I want to do actually is. I have not, I have not forgotten this. I think if we go back to Mount Pyre, actually if I go to 121, that's going to be faster I think. Okay, it didn't put me where I thought it was going to put me, but... I can go this way? Yeah, this way, perfect. Because now I'm pretty sure I can encounter the Alamolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemolemol
Is there anywhere that I can land around here? Ah, there's one. I don't want to go back to Sutopolis and have to, like, uh, dive to get out of there. But it should be just down this way. Yeah, this way. I don't want to battle the trainers because it's going to be a waste of time. I don't need the XP. And they don't need their Pokemon kills. Hello, Wingle. I'm fairly certain that I don't need to use my final gym catch on a Wingle. No, Wingle, go away. Wait, is it not that way? Is it... Um... I don't remember how to get to Pacific Log. It must be further... S no, because there's rocks here too. No, I can't go that way. You, you move, thank you. No, it's not that way. Don't turn! I feel like I'm losing my edge, you're drifting along with the waves. Yeah, that's right, dude, you're going to be losing your Pokemon too now, because you're a uh, jerk, Leopold. Oh, well, I thought what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go all the way to, um, to Pacific Log and explore a nice little... Nice little cozy city on the water. But no, because apparently I don't remember the way there. Mind you, it's probably a smarter idea that I um, head towards the league now, honestly. Go lurk! That's not a... I uh, am... Um, problems you come out, I guess. I mean, that is not a water-type Pokémon. I mean, Golurk can fly, which is really, really cool. If you've never seen it, like, YouTube Golurk fly, and it, like, turns into, like, the super cool, like, jet. Oh, this is a nice-type Pokémon. Uh, crunch it, quickly. Don't let it hit you. All right, he's confused, right? Never mind. Crunch it, come on. <sighs> really problems. Alright, let's, um, Albert, you come out. You still have a fire move, right? You can burn this, uh, icicle. That was a lot of damage, but, uh,. Albus, no you don't. Okay, never mind. Uh, just hit it with Psychic, sure. Why is that super effective on you? Freeze Dry is an Ice type move. Right? Oh, no, not a potion. We need to use the uh, Hyper Potion. There we go. Solar Beam, really? Really? Dude, I didn't want to have to battle anybody here. Um, oh, I can't leave Albus out because Albus will die. Right, Daryl, you come out. Daryl, take a solar beam to the face, please. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Daryl's like, oh, was that, was that a move? Is that a move? How about I break your face? Good job, Daryl. You did what no one else could, apparently. Re <gasps> On a battle time! <laughs> On a battle time! You've got to fight, Daryl, for your right! 
stay alive against this Electivire. Ooh. Come on, Daryl, you don't get any help. You gotta win this. Good job, Daryl. Wow. What are the odds he would have <laughs> what's the odds he would have an Electivire too? A is an ace trainer, but still. Uh yeah, Rose, you just stay out in front, sure. Right, so this is a new route, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna... Oh, thank god I didn't have to battle it, dudes. No way, I've caught Pokemon on this route, never mind. This, uh, this isn't where I was thinking of. This is where we got uh, Tentacruel. Also, I just realised that you need Waterfall to get to the league anyway. <sighs> you know what? Forget it then. Forget it, Pokemon. Forget it. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to Lily Cove. Not Lily Cove. Moose Deep. And uh, I'll get... What I'm going to do, I'm going to go get a Pokemon, teach it Waterfall, and then I'm going to just travel on my own. And then next time will be, like, right... Right here, essentially. So I'm going to go do that just because, I mean, what's the point of me picking up a Pokemon, teaching it dive, going down there? Like, that's not entertaining. I may as well just come back when I'm already there. So, until next time.